One thing about me is I cannot choose an aesthetic for life of me. So I heavily depend on items I can style towards what I'm feeling like that day. So in this series, I'm gonna address some pieces from my wardrobe and try to style them in different decades. Today, we are going to take a look at the little white dress. Hi, I'm Ali Lebeau, and this is how I would style this dress in each decade. First up, the 60s, which is probably one of my favorite decades. When I think the 60s, I really think of color blocking like two-toned, one-tone outfits, and also boots, like shiny high boots. And then I settled on the look being black and white, which made me think of Margot Robbie portraying Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is not a film from the 60s, but it is based on the 60s, so. So I layered a black turtleneck over the white dress, which it's not really cheating, it's still the white dress, but... So I pulled my black boots from my wardrobe, which I would like to have some white boots, but I don't. So it's black for today. Then I teased my hair a little. Doesn't look great in the footage. It was wash day, so kind of flat. Ignore that. Leave it to the imagination. It was teased. And then I added a black hairband to really tie in everything. I put in some silver hoops and for the moment no accessories to really keep that simple mod 60s look. Moving on to the 70s. For the 70s I chose to put a like sheer white blouse underneath of it to give it kind of like a flow and then I put like a brownish vest over it to kind of make it like one hole that you don't see the transition from the blouse to the dress and i added some black boots with laces and for accessorizing i didn't put any accessories on i relied completely on this like 70s hair like with a swoosh like kind of daisy jones in the six type of stuff and also i don't know why but i think it helps that i have red hair it made me think of the 70s The 80s! For the 80s I was inspired like initially by Molly Ringwald, specifically in Pretty in Pink. It did not end that way, but that was my thought process. I was kind of inspired by like the flowers and the pink and the purples and then the black accessories. With the 80s you can kind of accidentally go to costumey. Did not want that. I was kind of inspired by the preppiness and the girliness. So I chose a flower printed blouse and then tied it in the middle because in my head that is 80s to tie. <laughs> You have blouses in the middle. So I put on my like white leg warmer socks and put on some shiny like heeled shoes over them to kind of emphasize that preppiness. And then for accessories, I put in a scrunchie in my hair, obviously for earrings, also purple geometric shapes. And also I like teased my bangs. Once again, it was hair wash day. They're laying a bit flat. I would have loved to make them fluffier, but it is what it is. The 90s, also one of my favorite decades. I think my most favorite decade because it's kind of versatile. Uh, this look was, <laughs> it's kind of a one-on-one ripoff of Cher from Clueless. The one scene where her father is like, what the hell are you wearing? And she's like, it's a dress. That's probably not verbatim, but anyways. In this scene, she's wearing this white dress, which looks pretty exactly like mine. And then in some scenes afterwards, she's wearing like a sheer white blouse over it, which is the same blouse I used in the 70s one. And then and for shoes some knee high socks which is the staple in the movie and then i put on the same shoes as the 80s kind of make it more preppy and then for accessories didn't really accessorize except for a choker because it's in line and i pushed my hair like back because Cher in the movie always has this like nice hair that just falls not in a part my hair doesn't look nearly as good but the 2000s, a decade where I was actually alive. For this, I was kind of inspired by like Disney Channel. 
dresses over jeans kind of vibes kind of playful also denim like the britney spears full denim outfit so for the dress i hiked it up a bit like i put a bit of the fabric like under my bra and that way it is shorter it kind of looked like a long top instead of a dress put some jeans under it put a belt over the part where it's folded so you don't really see it so it looks even more like a top then put on some heels because for some reason everyone back then was wearing heels with the most casual <laughs> outfits ever business on the feet party on the top i guess then for accessories i have this awesome hat which i don't really get to wear much i thought it fit this really really well i thought the hat kind of made the, the whole outfit come together the 2010s the decade where i was a teenager and where i was actually participating in fashion trends which makes some interesting pictures that live on the internet uh, it was the decade of tumblr of being edgy <laughs> listening to sad music of skating i never learned i liked to look like I did. For this one, I tried to make the dress a bit less curly, a bit more edgy. Threw on some denim, then put on some knee-high socks, Arctic monkey style, some vans. Moving on to accessories, the side bangs were side banging. I very much am giving Radio Rebel in this, especially with the red hat. Don't know if I love that, but it was what we were walking around in. Furthermore, no accessories, just a whole lot of sadness and edginess. And then, finally, the 2020s. We're approaching the halfway point of this decade, which crazy, but anyways, getting old, I guess. The 2020s, I find a very difficult decade to define, which is ironic as I'm in it right now, participating in the trends right now. In my opinion, that isn't really a mainstream style. Like, I feel like a lot of people are doing different things. It can be defined as like a more fun style, I think. Some inspirations for this look were definitely Olivia Rodrigo, which I still find it crazy <laughs> that the famous people these days are younger than I am. It's always been the other way around. But anyways, I'm thinking like sheer fabrics, like flowy. Also brown. I don't know, brown kind of defines the style for this decade. Uh, so for this dress, I threw on a brown flowy sheer top on top. For the shoes, I chose platforms. I really think this decade is about platforms. I also really like platforms. I like being tall. Then for accessories, I put on two necklaces, one choker. I think chokers, they always will be popular. I don't think they will ever grow out of style. And then also an extra one, which is a necklace with my name on it in different colors, which is actually from the 2000s. It was mine when I was a kid. For the hair, just middle part, wolf cut, I guess. Just my hair, kind of how I wear it most of the time. This was actually my first full-length YouTube video. I liked doing it. It was a lot of editing. Speaking on camera makes me nervous, but if you like it, please let me know in the comments. And if there's enough commotion, I'll keep doing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Check out my other socials. Uh, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Goodbye.